Hi guys, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Today we have a special transfer we're going to work with. Now we have our catalog or and our online store that has all the different uh, transfers we offer. But something special that we do is that every month we have a club couture. So the April club couture is called Mama's Kitchen and you get all these wonderful pieces. I've already cut it up because I'll be using some of them today. You have this, it says, because I said so. You have this really pretty swirly here. You have like some little dashes here. Then you have Mama's Kitchen. You have utensils for cooking and baking. You have three fun little arrows, a cupcake, a heart, and then some more little doodads here. They're like little hearts. I don't know if you can see that. They're super, super cool. So this is available now because it's our April Club Couture. Now I'm gonna be working on, in case you can't tell, this is an apron. And let me get the pieces I won't be using out of the way. Let's see, here we go. Okay, let me put those two on the side. All right, so, I thought it would be so cool to make an apron that said Mama's Kitchen, okay? So I think I'll put in the apron, I mean the Mama's Kitchen about right there. But as you know, we fuzz up our transfers. So let me get this going on a corner. There we go. Okay, and let me fuzz this up. Just a quick little fuzz because it is it's a brand new transfer, but it and it but it is going on fabric. So I just want to fuzz it up a little bit. And I want to, there's a pocket right here, so I want to kind of center it next to the pocket. Oh, there we go. Okay. And I want to make sure that I don't have any bubbles. Okay. You know what? I have a little wrinkle there. And it's coming across on the transfer. So, that's a very easy fix. I'm actually glad that happened so I can show you guys. You... It's be best practice is to go ahead and iron your surface to kind of get it nice and smooth. You can use an iron, of course, or if you have a Easy Press by Cricut, you may use that. So I have my Easy Press heated up, ready to go. So let's go ahead and give that a little press. And that way it's nice. We have a nice smooth surface to work with. I've already got it set uh, to 305 degrees for 30 seconds. Go. And unlike an iron, the easy press, you just lay flat. You might have the inclination to kind of move it around like an iron, but nope. You just do this. Make sure you have your surface is protected because it does get very hot. There we go. Super quick. And it's done. Let's take a look. Oh, much better. Much better. Okay, I'm gonna let it cool off a little. Because it, it's warm. I'm using the uh, mat that is made by Cricut for the easy press to keep my surface protected. It's gonna waft it. Let's get that cooled off. Now this is a black apron. And so I was thinking, oh what what color should I use of ink? And I decided I'm going to use Couture ink in gold, shimmery gold, and Couture ink in silver. 
Yep, mama likes her bling. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, it's ready. Let's see. So I want it centered with the pocket. There we go, okay. And you guys know that ink is permanent. So if you get it anywhere you don't want, ooh, that is a big, big problem. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna protect my surface. I have plenty of room on this side, but right here on the top and bottom, I want to make sure that I don't go over, okay? So I think I'm gonna do Mama's Kitchen in gold. And I have some little towels over here, to paper towels to the side, because I wanna make sure that I don't get my apron dirty and I don't have the ink anywhere I don't want it. So I'm gonna give a mix. See, it's perfect consistency. Like this. And as you know, I like to plop some on the side. Right here. Get all that excess. And I'm going to use my angle squeegee. I'm gonna get a little bit more. And I'm going to spread it. Making sure to get nice, even coverage. Yep, see, so glad I used that tape to protect it. Uh-oh, I did make a boo-boo. Okay, so we wanna protect our surface that's on the underside. So we do have our couture ink pad for that. Let me get that on there real quick. Oops. There we go, okay. Hopefully I caught it in time. Although this is a really thick fabric, so it may not have gone through, but we'll check. Okay, I'm so glad I'm making these little boo-boos so that y'all can learn from them better me than you, right? Okay. Now I'm just taking the excess off. <gasps> Oops. I did get a little there. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. I may be able to get some of that off if I hurry. We'll find out together. Okay. Like I said, I'm not going to worry. I might even place something on there too. When you're removing your tape, make sure you don't get any paint on your fingers. And there we go. Now let's reveal. Okay, let's see how this came out. <gasps> Ooh, I love the gold on the black. That, that looks gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to put my transfer in. I have a little container of water so that it can take care of that for me while I finish up. Okay, now let's see what we want to do. Since I have some gold there now, <laughs> I want to go ahead and cover that up. Let's see, what should we put there? Um, come on guys, what do y'all think? A heart. Let's see. I'm thinking we may do the cupcake. Let's try that. Let's see how that looks. Oh, I think the cupcake would look great there. Okay, let's fuzz this up. 
happy mistake, happy mistake. And I'm going to put it right under the H. <clears throat> there we go. Now, I'm definitely going to use a smaller squeegee for this. Perfect. And just get nice, smooth coverage. Okay, perfect. Ta-da! Beautiful. I love how forgiving this is. Can't even tell. Can't even tell. That looks so good. I love it. Oh, I don't know that I want to use any silver now. What do y'all think? Hmm? Ooh. Maybe something on the pocket? What about that on the pocket in silver? Or should I use this on the pocket? What do y'all think? Hmm. And this over here? I don't know. Let's see. What do y'all think? Help me decide. Oh, I can do a heart up here too. On Mama's Kitchen. Or here. This is one this is one of the most fun things to do is figure out what you want to do with all these great options you have. Because you get so many different pieces that all fit together nicely okay so i think i like that there and then i think i'll put the heart underneath it yep let's go with that okay and i'm going to go ahead and clean off my squeegees as to not to contaminate although you want to make sure not to accidentally drop any on any of your project surface okay let's see let's do the silver now and let's mix this up I'm so glad you guys are here with me creating this learning from my mistakes <laughs> all right here we go oh look at that silver it is just so gorgeous I love it and then I'm going to place it over here so I don't accidentally drop any, any, let's see. I think I'm going to stick with the small one, making sure that I don't get any. Just taking it off the transfer, off the transfer, off its backing. Oop, that's my, that is my, um, Cricut Easy Press telling me it's shutting down. And so once it's not used for a bit, it shuts its it shuts itself down, which is just a safety feature, which is fine. I can turn it back on if I wish. Okay, there we go. Let's do those in silver. Okay, here we go. And like, I'm gonna make sure not to get anywhere near the edges. Go. Have to admit, I'm holding my breath a little here. Going like, whoo. Okay. Nice, smooth application. Now let's go ahead and do this heart, and then we can do the reveal for both at the same time. Okay, removing the excess. Oh, I love how little ink you actually need. Okay, let's pull this up. Okay, let's start with the heart. Oh, 
There we go. Oh, that is so pretty. I love it. And this is going into my water. Okay, and now uh, this one. Ooh, look at that. Oh, I love it in the silver. It actually looks like the utensil you would use. Okay, I'm going to clean my finger because I do not want to transfer any of that on. Oh, what do you guys think? Does that look good? I think that is awesome. All right, do we need something on this side to kind of even it out? Hmm, what do y'all? We can do these in silver too, and that way we have some on each side. Why don't we go ahead and do that? All right, let's, let's do it. Let's go ahead and do it. I like um, to kind of balance off the colors. So we have, I'm gonna kind of get it centered. Oh, I think that looks pretty good. There we go. And you know what? I'm gonna use a napkin <laughs> just to make sure I don't accidentally plop somewhere I don't want it. But see how easy this is? Super easy. Just spread it around. I'm gonna be super careful. Not to get too close to the edge. Okay. Remove the excess. See, I'm going back over it to not get nice, smooth coverage. Then all this excess going straight back in the container. I have zero waste. All right, here we go. Now the reveal. I started in the corner, then pull from the middle. Look, oh my goodness, that is so. I missed a little bit on this spot. See, that's a cool thing, is that if you miss a little spot, if you pull it softly, you can just put it, put it some more, and then, perfect. There we go. And into the water you go. Oh, there we go. Making sure your fingers are clean. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and close up my ink. I wanna make sure I don't get any anywhere I don't want it. I just love the silver and the gold together. Okay, now the only thing left to do is to let this dry. And then once it's dry, you hit it you hit it again with an iron or with the easy press to seal it in. And that way it can go through the wash without a problem and your images will stay perfect. I just love the way this came out. Thank you guys so much for coming along today and looking at our new transfer for April. It is available now in my store if you wish to go and grab it for yourself. I just, oh, I just love this. I can't wait to wear this. All right, once again, thanks very much and have a great day or night wherever you're at.